So I guess we'll start um, maybe an overview of Bayer Drive 2.0 and some of the uh, some of the things farmers should know about the product. Yeah, for sure. Um, so when I think of the new Drive 2.0, there's kind of like three words that I sum it up into. So stability, compatibility, and prescriptions. So thinking about um, stability, Drive 1 came out in 2016, which was, I guess, nine years ago, pretty much, considering we are right now in 2025. How did that happen? Um, but thinking about things like Bluetooth connectivity, processing power, data security, all these technologies have come such a long ways in, in the last eight, nine years. And that's, and that's the new technology that's going to be in this drive, too. So especially thinking about our Bluetooth technology um, or any of those really, like thinking about our iPhones from eight to nine years ago, I don't think any of us would, would want to use those anymore. Like they're just, they're right. slow, they're clunky, they don't do what we want them to do as well as the technology we have today. So exciting with Drive 2 is it's sort of the same, same, same sort of things here. So we've got improved Bluetooth, which is great for the connectivity to the iPad in the field. So better experience, you shouldn't have to do the reconnecting. I know that was some of the challenges we've seen growers having with, with Drive 1 as they got older and a number of growers have had them for, for a number of years. So it's just like anything, those that technology, that connection wears out. So being able to have that upgraded is really exciting and should give us a better op, uh, experience in the field when we're collecting our data. And then same with our processing power, anytime we can upgrade that, make things faster, um, we're going to have a better experience and be able to just keep things moving along as quick as we can. So stability, um, connectivity, that's super exciting, a big piece of a big piece of that drive to that we're excited to bring out. Compatibility is the second one I mentioned. And with the drive to, it just gives us uh, more opportunity going into the future. I know we've we've had um, some great work be done on compatibility here in Canada over the last number of years. And Drive 2 will just continue to give us more opportunities. Drive 2 also has the ability to convert some GPS signals on its own. So that's exciting. And it just simplifies our setup when we're when we're getting new people set up with field view or people are getting new equipment, that sort of thing. And then the third one I mentioned was uh, prescriptions. Um, so this is new to the drive too, is the ability to get a prescription to a cab um, in the equipment, whether that be for um, fertility, for seeding, uh, maybe fungicide on off prescriptions or, or anything that you're doing variable rate for. We can eliminate that thumb drive. So we can get that prescription. Um, to the cab of the equipment without the thumb drive using our, our iPad and our Drive 2 as sort of the transfer device there. This also gives us an opportunity, um, say you have a prescription and you go to a field, you're, something's changed, whether that be um, the hybrid that you're doing, the weather that makes you want to change your population, you're working with an agronomist, they can upgrade or update that prescription at home for you their desktop, as long as you have service in the field, you can get that updated prescription. No one has to drive out a thumb drive and you can use that in the field. So um, kind of some cool, cool opportunities there and super valuable for anyone using variable rate or prescriptions today. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you is, um, and I believe you mentioned it, uh, or I read about it, the compatibility it can, uh, Drive 2.0 can work with, you know, different manufacturers, different equipment, that sort of thing. So can you take us through the process of, you know, once, you know, how do you set it up in the cab and then uh, some of those initial setup, um, setup steps? Sure. So when you sign up for FieldView, is, someone will reach out and help you with this because this can be complex for sure. I know I used to spend a lot of time with farmers figuring out compatibility. Depending on your equipment, what monitors you have, what GPS you have, sometimes it takes us five minutes and sometimes it takes us a few days of back and forth just because there's so many different setups. Um, there's factory setups and then there's third party setups. And if you bought equipment from someone, they might have changed the GPS, but not the monitor or vice versa. Uh, we do have have team members that are that can help you with that, walk you through that and have lots of experience and understanding what's going to what's going to be the best option for you. Uh, might need a cable or a harness in there to be able to bring certain signals from monitors or GPSs to the drive. 
Um, and then, like I said, the biggest thing with drive two is that we're going to eliminate um, certain cables um, and setups just because it does have a little bit of internal um, conversion that it can do with GPS signals, which also is something I've learned over the years is GPS signals are different depending on on where they come from and what monitor you got in your equipment. So, yeah, complex, but we're here to help you get you through that and uh, make sure that you you can get set up with what you need. One of the new features is, I believe it's a Perseon corn system. And so can you talk about that and, and what that is and, and how it works? Yeah, for sure. So Perseon corn system is currently U.S. specific. So all the work's being done in the U.S., and specifically Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois, and Indiana. Um, but basically what the Perseon corn system boils down to is two things. Short stature corn and tailored digital agronomic recommendations. And short stature corn is, is a, great, a great addition to the tools in our toolbox here in the egg world because it, it gives us a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit I'll say, control over with our weather. So we know weather, we can't control it. Super challenging in the agriculture industry. We all deal with it every single year and uh, do what we can, but obviously there's often not much we can can do about it. But with short stature corn, getting that corn closer to the ground gives it just a better chance of survival against those harsh weather conditions, whether that be um, wind is a huge one, big wind, um, uh, other extreme weather, like lots of rain. So that short stature corn, just being closer to the ground has a better chance in those extreme weather conditions. Um, and, and is less likely to lodge, more like so then more likely to make it all the way to the end of the season and give us more yield potentially. So that's great. And then combine that with um, tailored digital recommendations being prescriptions that, that give us uh, placement and uh, density recommendations based on the research that Bayer has done with those specific hybrids in those specific geographies. So they're setting, trying to set um, people up for the best success and hopefully be able to maximize the yield potential of that corn in those areas. So is that the kind of thing that would evolve over time as more data is collected in different areas with different hybrids and that kind of idea? Yeah, so I know in 2024, there was over 30,000 acres and almost 400 growers that did testing with Bayer on this program. And for 2025, they're hoping to expand that to around 100,000 acres and over 500 farmers. So they'll continue to test that um, in the, especially in that corn belt, make sure we have everything's working properly. Potentially there's ex expansion to other geos, um, just no timeline at this moment. Okay. Um, and for farmers who are interested in learning more about Bayer Drive, um, perhaps if they want to have start having conversations about implementing it into their operation, um, when and where can they do that? Yeah, for sure. So the, I guess just thinking, um, Couple of things I'll mention. Thinking about the price on, I know I said that's specific to the US, but has a drive two has a big impact on when we think about Canada. There's another um Bayer's doing another pilot project um that's specific to canola growers, which is kind of exciting. And it also includes prescriptions. So how drive two will help us execute on that as well. Um, so we're looking at understanding disease risk um, in canola. So growers can actually sign up to receive disease risk notifications and prescriptions on a further fungicide, and it would be an on-off prescription. So we're spraying where we need to spray um, and not the entire field in some instances. So that's something that, that the drive to will help us do because we can get those prescriptions to the field easier. So if you are in Western Canada and interested in that, that's something that you can chat to your local, local, local bear rep about. Um, and if you're interested in drive two in general, I'm super excited. We'll be at all the uh, farm shows this winter. We'll have people being able to show you what it looks like, show you, talk to you about how it works, how it would fit on your farm. And we're also running an early buy uh, discount program until March 21st. So we've got some discounts on drive two, um, some bundles, some packages, if you're needing multiple of those to get started. Um, so yeah, definitely come visit us at our at the Bear booth at the trade shows. Or uh, you can check us out online at climatefieldview.ca.